I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Didrikshayeva sarvartan yadha vyapya vatishthate tada kimba hunukte na svayam meva vabochyate When the yogi seeking to see all objects or all occurrences of any cause establishes and abides himself completely in that state of oneness which pervades them all by infusing them all with the light of his consciousness then what is the use of saying much he will experience for himself the cosmic splendor of that vision Sadashiva reveals a beautiful sutra here in the Spanda Karika. Let us understand what is Spanda. Spanda is the creative pulsation of the whole cosmos manifested and projected by Sadashiva. In the Shiva Sutras, Sadashiva reveals about his light energy aspect called Prakasha or Teja. In the Spanda Karika, he reveals the Spanda, the dynamic active, vibrating, flowing, powerful aspect of Sadashiva, which is Vimarsha, the reflection, expression or manifestation of the self-effulgent light of consciousness, Prakasha. Prakasha is Sadashiva manifesting in Vimarsha or Spanda, in his Shakti, the absolute power by which Sadashiva manifests and multiplies himself into many just to celebrate his own existence. The terms Shakti, Vimarsha, Parashakti, Spanda, Spurata, Spanda Shakti are all synonymous in the Shaivagamas. The whole cosmos is inherent in the Spanda, the cosmic vibration, just as a banyan tree is inherent potentiality in the seed. The whole universe has been projected or manifested by Sadashiva, by the Spanda, the throb or vibration of opening of his third eye. Oneness with Sadashiva, the Absolute Consciousness, always manifests as Spanda Shakti, the powerful pulsation, cognition and activity. Spanda Shakti is the dynamism, the activism of Sadashiva. Now let us enter into the Sutra from the Spanda Karika, which expands the Shiva Sutras. It is the highest possibility for a living being that has the power to seek and manifest anything, to see and experience anything he or she wills. The secret to this is the experiencing the oneness with Sadashiva, who is existing in all objects, occurrence as the primary cause. This is the paramanifestation of experiencing the cosmic splendor of divine visions. This sutra describes the power of remote vision to see and experience object. It also describes the technique to see any occurrence which is the power of Akashic reading. This is the technique of Spanda which is giving a powerful cognition. Establish yourself completely and abide or remain soaked in the state of oneness with the primary cause that fills everything Sadashiva and his Shakti Sarvartam Vyapyavatishtate Cognize clearly that any object or occurrence that you seek to see or experience is filled with the same primary cause Sadashiva In existential reality any object, anywhere, be it in front of you, or in America, or on the planet Mars, is filled with Sadashiva, the source subject. So, the Sadashiva, who is in you and in everything, can reveal the divine vision and also experience of that object to you by infusing the light of his consciousness. By manifesting this powerful cognition of reality in you, what is the use of saying anything further, says Sadashiva. 
for the yogi will experience the extraordinary power of vision of anything within his own self. When the yogi, seeking to see all objects or all occurrences of any cause, establishes and abides himself completely in that state of oneness which pervades them all, by infusing them with the light of his consciousness, then what is the use of saying much? The cosmic splendor of that vision will be revealed to him in his own consciousness. Swaya meva bhutsyate by the dynamic active Spanda Shakti.